we are sorry. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, begs Nigerians for their mistakes of the past. They say they will win the trust and power come 2019. Will Nigerians forgive and forget? And the Federal High Court in Abuja fixes April the 25th for judgment in the suit found by a court party challenging the attempt by the National Assembly to reorder the 2019 general election. Well, many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today Live on Channel's Television. I'm Shinwa Kimale in Lagos. Well, it's 326 days to the general elections. We'll keep you posted on build up and stories relating to the elections. We have the update on the election sequence, reordering case in court, and what the main opposition party is saying about 2019. But first, here are other stories we are following at this time. The Deputy Senate President, Ike Ekwere Madu, has described the recent allegation of non-asset declaration against him as a smear campaign instituted by the APC-led government to tarnish his image and meant to intimidate the PDP ahead of the 2019 general election. The lawmaker was speaking at the Southeast Zonal Meeting of the People's Democratic Party in Ebony, where he told the party faithful that he is innocent and will be vindicated. The APC government believes that this war can capture power by intimidation and blackmail. It has never happened. It never happened. It appears peace may have returned to the People's Democratic Party in Oshun State at last for now, considering the outcome of the party's Congress. Soji Adagwodo emerged as the new state chairman of the party in Oshun State. It's been almost two years of leadership tussle that has rocked the party in the state, but the Congress, which culminated in the election of the new executives at the state level, began with the conclusion of the party's ward and local government congresses. Today is the beginning of giving a new face and leadership to our party and um, for the people of Oshun to know that we have a viable opposition, we have a political party that is ready, that is set. However, some members of the Senator Iyola Omishore faction boycotted the election. The national chairman of Restoration Party of Nigeria, Mr. Nseher Nselbong, is asking Nigerians to disregard the recent call by a former chief of army staff, General Theophilus Danjuma, advising Nigerians to defend themselves against attacks by armed herdsmen. Addressing a news conference in Abuja, Mr. Nselbong explains that heeding General Danjuma's call for self-defense is an invitation to anarchy, which will further worsen the security situation in the country. Mr. Nselbong is instead asking Nigerians to allow the nation's security agencies defend them against violent attacks by armed herdsmen. We believe that the, the Nigerian government, the security forces, the police, the armed forces should be able to defend our sovereignty, defend our states and defend our people. And I believe that more intelligence and more dedication to funding of terrorism and, in, and insurgency should play a major role. And let's quickly tell you some news coming in from the nation's capital, Abuja, where Justice Ahmed Mohammed of the Federal High Court, Abuja, has reserved judgment to the 25th of April in a suit challenging the powers of the National Assembly to pass laws affecting the sequence of the 2019 general election following the refusal of President Mohammed Buhari to accent to the bill. The Accord Party had filed a suit against the National Assembly Attorney General of the Federation and Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to court after President Muhammad Buhari refused assent to the amended Electoral B 2018. Justice Muhammad gave the date after counsel to the parties in the suit adopted and argued their written addresses. The party had expressed fears that the legislature, with regards to its legislative powers, can veto the president assent and pass a bill to law.